Hello, everyone. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Hello. Good hello. evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening, everybody. So, how are you today? I'm very, uh, very good, teacher. Very good. Okay, nice. Uh, it's good to see you, um, Diana Laura, Diego Arturo, Amilcar Escobar, Herbert Douglas, and Patricia Herrera. Welcome. How was your weekend? Who wants to share about your weekend? Good? Or just good? Or what do you do for fun? And by the way, Herbert, are you happy, Herbert? <laughs> there were only four zero. Four zero. I don't, I don't have <laughs> Uh, do you watch the match yesterday, Barcelona and Real Madrid? <laughs> yes, I watch. Okay, so are you happy or are you sad? Are you I angry? Cry. I cried after the match. I'm sorry, yeah, but you know Barcelona is best. It's the best, so yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, um, so how was your weekend? Um, anyone? Patricia, In my case, teacher, uh, I was studying, mm -hmm. um, studying because um, in my work, mm -hmm. uh, all of my co-workers mm -hmm. uh, were studying the oh. law, the new law. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Nacer con so, Karim. Uh, so when is it going it's to take... A lot uh, of uh, when is it going to be applied in the hospitals? When is it going to be applied? Is being applied now or is going to be applied in the future? Mm -hmm. uh, since 24 February 24, oh. uh, that is a real. Oh. Uh, uh huh. Uh, the woman mm -hmm. uh, can enter the hospital with mm -hmm. his case with her husband. her husband husband or her mother wow her best friend uh, every everyone that uh, she choose wow that's good that's very good yeah um unfortunately my daughter my daughter was born in february the 1st and we couldn't do that. So um, we decided uh -huh. to go to um, a private hospital. And of course, you know, in a private hospital, well, yeah, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, welcome. Oh, welcome, uh, Graciña. How are you today, uh, Graciña? Um, fine, teacher. Fine. How was your weekend? Uh, yes. Um... That's um, very good because very good. Um, mm -hmm. yes, and I went to our Japan. Okay, when okay. when do you go to Japan? Uh, when? Uh huh. Where? When? Mm -hmm. When? Um, Saturday in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And. And Sunday. Oh, and Sunday. nice. Very nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yes. What about you, Diana and Amilcar I'm or welcome. Diego Arturo? So, how was your weekend? Amilcar? Okay, teacher. Uh, um, thank you for, for asking me. Mm -hmm. um, my weekend was very excellent because. Uh, Yesterday we went to to the church uh, with my wife, mm -hmm. and in the evening, <clears throat> excuse me, and in the evening we we do uh, uh, we bake uh, a cup of coffee 
and it dwells very nice very delicious that's good that's good okay. thank you for sharing yes, yes thank you so much okay 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 sure. um so i don't know if anyone else wants to share about his or her uh weekend anyone else yeah okay. oh i have welcome ailey welcome ailey mitchell mm -hmm. okay uh as you might know um okay i wonder if there is any question about the platform uh, están todos solvente con la plataforma eh, en esta mañana el licenciado jimmy eh, se comunicó conmigo verdad eh, preguntándome eh, por ustedes y o oh, porque había visto que que no han contestado todos la plataforma so um, as you know tomorrow we are done with the uh, with the course tomorrow and uh, you need to be um, well you need to complete all sections before tomorrow or tomorrow right yeah the final by the way uh today you are supposed to be working on the final either today or tomorrow because tomorrow is the last day of the course so i don't know how you're doing with that le hace falta mucho or how is that possible how is how are you doing right now <clears throat> mm -hmm. oh okay uh, I already get, uh, finished. Oh, okay, good, good. I have... mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, finished in, teacher. in my case, I have finished too. Okay, nice. Good. Okay, good, good. Mm -hmm. uh, no sé si Diana eh, le faltará mucho, al igual Diego. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, in my case, teacher, mm -hmm. uh, I finished. Oh, okay, platform. good, good, good. What about you, Ailey Mitchell? Mm -hmm. Uh, finish the classroom. Okay, good. Uh, just me, in case, or si les hace falta algo or anything, well, um, I don't know if Diana it's done or, or, or she hasn't finished yet. But just in case, uh, if you haven't finished, um, well, you are on, you are still on time. All right. So uh, let me see. I'm going to share my screen because today we have basically the last topic of this course tomorrow we are going to be reviewing tomorrow is the last day that means okay. that tomorrow we're going to be <coughs> reviewing all the topics that we cover <coughs> during this course so today we're going to cover the last topic uh and i'm going to share my screen and today's topic is personality traits okay that is the topic for today personality traits okay. So when we're talking about personality traits are those characteristics that are unique. Some characteristics that we have. For example, you might be impatient. Oh, you could be really patient. Maybe you should be, I mean, you can be moody. Moody or sometimes, or you can be really calm. Those are personality traits that we're going to be talking today. So... At the end of this class, participants, in this case, you, you will learn adjectives for describing personality traits, okay? You are going to be learning some adjectives to describe some personality traits. What are, what is personality traits? Uh, what are personality traits in Spanish? ¿Qué es personality traits? Mm -hmm. Entrenamiento personal. Mm, no, 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 mm -hmm. no, no, no. Mm -hmm. What is a personality trait? Mm -hmm. Anyone? Alguien me puede decir que es personality trait? Es como trait? el estado, como el estado de ánimo, no sé, algo así. Ah, como como características, de uh, características de la personalidad, características, um, okay. el carácter de una persona. Mm -hmm. Some uh, cualidades de una persona. Ah, uh, ¿cómo dice? Mm -hmm. Cualidades de una persona. Cualidades de una persona, exactly. They are not adjectives, right? They are some qual qualities, okay? <laughs> All right. So before before mm -hmm. we start, remember that on Thursday last week we were studying this one, right? Do you remember? We were studying gerunds. For example, um. We were saying some things that we love. For example, some of you said, I love uh, 
I love what? I love working. I loved, you love what? Or oh, I hate, remember? Or oh, I'm not very good at, or oh, I'm good at, or I don't mind, or I enjoy. Look, for example, um, we can use gerund. For example, if, if I say something, okay. In my case, something that I hate. I hate getting up, well, not really. Okay. I, I hate procrastinating. I don't know you, but I hate procrastinating. What about you? What do you hate? Mm -hmm. Me pueden escuchar? Me escuchan? Yeah, teacher, we're really listening you. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, good. So, can you tell me? One sentence, or can you type in the chat one sentence of uh, using one of the given examples in here? It could be, me pueden dar ya sea una oración con I hate, or, or una con I don't like, or one with I don't mind, or anyone, any, or any of the eight. Tenemos ocho, choose one. Okay, let's see. I hate washing the dishes. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I hate cooking. <clears throat> uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I hate working on the weekend. Yeah. I feel you. I did because I work on Saturdays and I don't like, I don't like working on Saturdays. Mm -mm. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe you can tell me something. Good morning. Only, yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, welcome, Roberto and I. Welcome. I'm good at playing soccer. Oh, I'm good at playing the guitar. Oh, pero Patricia, en ese caso necesito un verbo, Patricia. I hate what? Mm, necesito otro verbo ahí, que vaya en gerundio. How would it be? ¿Cómo sería? Drinking co Coca-Cola. Yes, I hate drinking Coca-Cola. Lo mismo, Herbert, lo mismo. Necesita un verbo ahí después de like, que vaya en gerundio. I don't like, hmm, I don't like what? Uh -huh. Eating the onion. Ok, vale. quiero aclarar algo. La oración, I don't like the onion, está correcta. Eso está bien, al igual que la oración que Patricia me daba antes, ¿verdad? Eh, I don't, ¿Qué me decía la oración? I don't drink Uh, I hate Coca-Cola. La oración está perfecta. No hay ningún problema. Pero en este caso, como nosotros estamos utilizando gerundios, ¿acuérdense de gerundios? Gerundio. Ajá. Entonces necesitamos un gerundio, ya sea después de los verbos que, después de los verbos hate, después de very good at, good at, I don't like, I can't stand, I'm interested in, I don't mind, I enjoy. Necesitamos un gerundio después de esos verbos o de esas preposiciones. Ok. I hate eating pig. <ríe> Diego Arturo says, I hate. Hmm. Diego, ahí necesitamos un verbo, Diego. I hate qué. Necesitamos un verbo. I hate something, the traffic in the morning. Ok. Ok. I'm good at playing the guitar. Good. Uh -huh. Tell me something that you enjoy, something that you enjoy, okay? For example, in my case, I enjoy, I enjoy, I enjoy uh, watching the sunset. I'm good at cooking, okay, good. Mm -hmm. I'm interested, Amilcar, oh, ok, Amilcar en that case, lo mismo, lo acabo de decir ahorita, ¿verdad? Después de estas expresiones que tenemos aquí, después de I hate, necesito un gerundio. Después de I'm not very good at, necesito otro gerundio. Después de I'm good at, necesito un gerundio. Después de todas las expresiones que están acá, I don't like, I can't stand, I'm interested in, I don't mind, I enjoy, necesito un gerundio, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, Milker, usted me puede decir, 
I'm interested in learning. See, in learning the United States history. Okay, Amilcar. Okay, let me see, Graciña. I enjoy going to the beach. Good. Let me see, Diego Arturo. I enjoy listening to music. Okay, what else? What else? Give me some other example with I enjoy. I enjoy, excellent, Herbert, excellent. I enjoy meeting with my friend. <laughs> Roberto, I enjoy getting up late. Mm -mm. That's not a good sign. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that una buena señal, okay? Uh, all right, next. Uh -huh. Okay. Díganme algo que no les interesa. Por ejemplo, la número siete. I don't mind what? I don't mind. Uh -huh. For example, um, let me see. I don't mind. I don't mind. Uh, let me see. I'm going to say I don't mind. Mm. Oh, I don't mind doing the dishes. Mm -hmm. See? I don't mind doing the dishes. Mm -hmm. What do they mean by that? I don't mind doing the dishes. It, it, it means that for me, it's okay. There is no problem. Okay? I don't mind doing the dishes. I don't mind taking the garbage out. See? I don't mind closing the door. Okay. I don't mind doing the laundry. Okay. I don't mind hearing the people talking about politics. Okay. Okay. Good. Estamos claros en este topic, ¿verdad? Uh, yo sé que Herbert va a decir, I don't mind listening to people that Barcelona won yesterday. Okay. <laughs> I don't mind. But that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just kidding, uh, Herbert. Don't, don't get mad. Okay. All right. Good. Está, está claro este tema? Mm -hmm. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Good. Amilcar, is it clear, Amilcar? Amilcar Escobar? Creo que su micrófono está apagado, creo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, so let's move on. Okay, now let me ask you this. Okay, okay, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, okay teacher. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Milka. Okay, now can you tell me some adjectives to describe, to describe what? To describe people. Can you mention some adjectives to describe people? Mm hmm I just yes, describe sir, we see it. I see it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can anyone mention some adjectives to describe people? You can use the chat or you can open your microphone. Mm -hmm. Teacher, you mm -hmm. said habit. Habits. Habit. Mm -hmm. oh. Adjectives. Adjetivos. Mm -hmm. Ah. Okay. Adjectives. Mm. Adjectives. Yeah, yeah, adjectives to describe. Uh, sad. People. Okay, sad. Uh huh. What else? What else? Shy. Give me more. Yeah. Give me more. Then my hand. Happy. Uh, sad. Happy. Thirsty. Bored. Uh huh. Interested. Bored. Thirsty. Thirsty. Mm -hmm. Angry. Angry. Good. Angry. Hungry. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Shy. Good. Slowly. A, uh, slowly. Mm -hmm. Patient. Mm -hmm. What else? What well, other adjectives do we know about or to describe people? Mm -hmm. Honest. Uh, Honest. Mad. Mad. Yeah, yeah, mad. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, good. What else? Mm -hmm. Patient. Well, Honest. Mother. Modern. Uh, what about es esta palabra? Bothering. Bothering. Oh. Mm -hmm. Como molestón. Como molestón o que molesta mucho. Molestón, así, bromismo. Mm -hmm. Sí. Uh -huh. uh, Joker. Good evening. Good evening, Mau. Uh, is that Mauricio? I guess it's Mauricio, right? 
Yeah, I guess it's, uh, when, uh, well, we have, yeah, Arquimedes, I'm sorry. Okay, welcome. Oh, welcome Dina Contreras. Welcome Rosa Luz. Lovely. Welcome Azucena Ayala. Welcome Roberto de Paul. Welcome Diego Arturo. Okay, okay, welcome. It's good to, it's good to have you today. Lovely. Vamos a ver, ¿qué más adjetivos hay? Quiet, lovely, lovely. lazy. Okay, yes. Lazy. Honest. Ok, en ese caso, Dina Contreras, honesty, it's a noun, es un nombre. En este caso, honest, it's an adjective, es un adjetivo. Ok, crazy, good. Serious. All right, let's go. Have you ever played bingo? ¿Has jugado alguna vez bingo? Yes? Yes or no? Huh? Yes. Um... Ok, good. So what we're gonna do awesome. right now is, as you can see, I have a mm -hmm. bunch of um, a bunch of what? A bunch of personality traits, okay? Or some adjectives, all right? Personality traits that can describe a person. For example, we have dependable, organized, reliable, ambitious, hardworking, persevering, kind, cooperative, sympathetic, helpful, courteous, warm, nervous, moody, emotional, insecure, jealous, unstable, curious, imaginative, creative, complex, refined, sophisticated, talkative, sociable, passionate, assertive, bold, and dominant. Those are some, uh, of course, hay muchas, muchas, muchas más que podría mencionar, pero because of the activity, we are going to just play bingo. ¿Ok? ¿Están listos para jugar bingo? What I want you to do is the following. Yes. Quiero que hagan un cuadro like the one that I have here. Como este cuadro. Look. Hagan un cuadro, por favor. That could be in a piece of paper. ¿Ok? Okay, please do it in a piece of paper. All right? In a piece of paper. Okay, un cuadro de tres por tres. Tres por tres. Okay. Then, really? what are we going to do? We are going to include uh, uh, some personality traits. Así como el ejemplo, look. Yo, por ejemplo, I chose Moody, yeah. I chose Dominant. Quiero que me llenen con adjetivos. Si es posible, háganlo con lápiz. Los adjetivos, si ¿sí tiene. Si no, vamos a hacer otro cuadro más adelantito, ¿ok? Ok, un cuadro de 3x3. And then we are going to write inside. Inside, uh, inside, we are going to choose word. Por ejemplo, digo, ah, voy a incluir, por ejemplo, complex. Ok, voy a escribir complex y escribo complex, bla, bla, bla. Y después dice, ah, bueno, voy a escribir curious. Ok, voy a escribir curious, etc. And then you say, oh, voy a, voy a escribir hardworking. Ok, voy a escribir hardworking. ¿Es that clear? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Ok, good. Let me know when you have finished. Mm -hmm. Cuando tengan el cuadro con letras eh, escogidas de las que están acá, me avisan, por favor. All right. Ready? ¿Estamos listos? Ready. ¿Estamos todos listos? ¿Ya llenamos el cuadrito? I'm ready. Ok, Amilcar está ready. Vamos a ver quién más está listo. Who is ready? ¿Quién más? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay, I am okay. ready, teacher. Ok, good. Ok, I don't know. Have you ready. ever played? ¿Alguna vez han jugado bingo? 
¿Alguna vez han jugado bingo? ¿Ah? Yes. ¿Yes? No. 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 Yes. Ok, voy a explicarlo bien yes. simple, ¿ok? Yeah. Yo voy a estar, de todas estas palabras que están acá, yo voy a ir mencionando no, 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 no. uno. Por ejemplo, voy a decir creative. Ok, ya tengo creative. Si usted escribió creative en uno de los cuadritos, ¿qué es lo que va a hacer? Lo va a tachar. Así como lo voy haciendo aquí en la pantalla. Look. Si yo digo Muri. Un frijolito. Ajá, ok, ajá, cabal. <ríe> si tengo un frijolito, pues you can put a, a little bean seed over there. Al final, lo que quiero es, si, si tienen tres en, ok. <ríe> si tienen tres en línea, ustedes van a decir bingo. Ok. Puede ser línea para acá, puede ser línea para abajo, puede ser línea para los lados, no importa. ¿Ok? ¿Está claro? ¿Está that clear? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Ok, good. Yes, teacher. So, remember, si ustedes tienen ya sea tres en, el row, tres en línea, um, just say bingo and we are going to stop the game. Ready? Ready. Okay, the first Ready. one, organized. <laughs> organized. Next, imaginative. Mm -hmm. Next, cooperative. Next, sophisticated. Next, nervous. Bingo. Oh, bingo, really? <laughs> wow, what do you have? Can, can, can you show it? ¿Lo puede mostrar o no lo puede mostrar? Uh -huh. eh, vamos a ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Sí. Ah, let me see, it, vamos sí, a ver. Pero... No lo veo bien, let me see, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Uh, well, we, I believe you, okay, I believe you. Ok, let's do it one more time. Hagámoslo una vez más. Thank you. So, congratulations, Roberto. You won. Ok, good job. Ok, let's do it one more time. Vamos a hacerlo una vez más. Very quickly now. Ok, ready? Ok, si pueden borrar todo rápido, very quickly. O do another one, do another one. And, and then include more adjectives. Okay, let me know when you're ready para comenzar de nuevo. Uh -huh. Ready, teacher. Okay, ready. Gracinha is ready. Good. Who else is, is ready? Who else? Ready. Okay, ready. Luis Alquimede, good. Who else? Come on, very quickly, please. Uh -huh. ¿Estamos listos? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, good. The first one is talkative. Next, complex. Next, insecure. Next, warm. Next, kind. Next, dependable. Okay, nadie. Next, sympathetic. Next, emotional. <laughs> wow, this is very tough. Next, curious. Next, sociable. Nadie, nobody. <laughs> Next. Oh, one more, one more. Sophisticated. <laughs> huh? Who said bingo? bingo? Who, who, who? who? <laughs> ¿Quién, quién, quién dijo bingo? Who said bingo? Anyone. Me. Who is me? Luis. <laughs> Luis. Oh, Luis Arquímedes. Okay, show it to me. Muéstralo, vamos a ver, muéstralo. It's a little. No lo veo muy have, bien, pero, okay. We have curious, sociable, and kind. 
kind, but, pero están así en línea, ¿verdad? Están en línea. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> ok, ok, good. So, congratulations. Let me see. Es que es miniatura, but congratulations, Luis Arquímedes. Thank you. Ok, thank you so much. I hope um, because of the... Okay, because of the time, I need to move on. Otherwise, I will continue playing with all of you. But uh, I need to cover one more topic, okay? So thank you for having participated. All right. Okay, let's go to the topic. Let's continue talking about the topic. And as you know, well, we were talking about, at the beginning, about some personality traits. Can you mention some personality traits? Mm-hmm. Some personality traits. Can you mention some personality traits? Remember, personality traits are some characteristics that we possessed. For example, if you are very patient, patient is a personality trait, okay? If you are a person who is um, creative, creative is a personality trait. Can you tell me some other example of personality traits, please? Mm -hmm. Responsible. Responsible, good. Responsible. Very mm -hmm. elegant. Elegant. Very unstable. Elegant. What is it? Unstable. Unstable, unstable. okay. Mm -hmm. Good, what else? Okay. Creative. What? Creative. creative. Yeah, creative. 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 Sorry. Yes, creative or creativo. Creative. All right. See? Creative. Some personality traits. One is patient and impatient. What are you? Are you patient or impatient? Tell me. I am impatient. Impatient? <laughs> okay. Yes. Me too. Me too. I'm impatient. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are patient? Yes. Wow. I admire you, but I don't, I, I mean, I try to be. <laughs> Imagine how difficult it is for me that I'm a teacher to be patient. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, next. Mm -hmm. Okay. Curious or <laughs> unconcerned. See, another personality trait is curious. Curious or unconcerned. Curious. curious. Yeah, curious. Who is curious here? ¿Quién es curioso aquí? Vamos a ver. Let me see. Who is curious? Me. Okay. Who else? ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más es curioso? Okay. Patricia Herrera. Patricia. Uh -huh. I am curious. Okay. Who else? Oh, nice. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? I am a little. <laughs> a little. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. So unconcerned. <laughs> unconcerned is a person like, Meh. it's just like, I don't care. It's just like, Meh. you know, sometimes yeah. <laughs> women, women are a little curious, a little bit curious. And we men, nosotros los hombres, sometimes it's <laughs> like, ah, we're like, Meh, we don't care. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes, not all the time. Okay, next. Mm -hmm. See, brilliant. That's another personality trait. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, sometimes some of your co workers, they are very brilliant. They have a very wonderful mind, right? Of course, there are some other co workers, algunos compañeros de trabajo, they are dual. <laughs> dull. You know what dull is? Saben que es dull? Yes? No. No? No? No, no. saben que es dull? No. Look at, look at no. my, look at, look at my, at my camera. Dull. Uh, uh -huh. Dull. Uh -huh. Well, you said it. <laughs> the opposite of brilliant. The opposite of brilliant. Okay. All right, next, next. Uh, mm -hmm. Some other, ah, uh, see, there are some, uh, another personality traits is optimistic. Mm -hmm. What is the opposite of an optimistic person? What is the opposite of pe optimistic? Optimistic. Pessimistic. Yes, pessimistic. 
pessimistic. Pessimistic. Yes. So <clears throat> let me ask you and um, be honest with me. Are you an optimistic person or are you a, a pessimistic person? Uh -huh. I am an optimistic woman. Optimistic? Optimistic bitches. Okay, okay. Or oh, sometimes I like optimistic and then sometimes pessimistic and then sometimes optimistic and then sometimes <laughs> pessimistic. It's like a combination optimistic. of both. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> it happens. It happens all the time. Sometimes yes. when everything is going well, everything is good, and you say like, yes, 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 yes. But then when something comes like not really good, like, oh no, and then yes. Okay, next. Are you generous or are you stingy? stingy. That's another personality trait. Mm -hmm. Generous or stingy? What is stingy? Tacaño. Look at look at my picture. Tacaño. You are stingy. Codo. <laughs> Aha, you are codo. Eres codo. Stingy. Ser um, tacaño. <laughs> uh, stingy. For example, you can say, uh, my friend is stingy. Okay? Es codo. Es tacaño. Stingy. Or you can say, my friend is very generous. Very generous. Okay? Okay, next. Oh. Oh. Are you an active or a passive person? You are like a very motivated person or you are like, ah, oh, this is boring. What kind of person are you? Active. Are you an active, active or are you like, uh, like, like an, a passive person? Uh -huh. Active. Oh yeah, yeah, I can say that. Patricia is an active person. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Okay, see, these are examples of what? These are examples of some personality traits. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, I was supposed to do an activity here anyway. Supposedly, lo hice, pero al parecer no. Okay. Supposedly, you were going to tell me what personality traits were negative and positives. If you see here, there are some, um, some what, some um, personality traits like creative, is crazy, is creative positive or negative? An adjective, right? Mm -hmm. positive. 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 Okay, you know positive. what? Okay, you know what? I'm going to do it right now. Give me one positive. second, okay? Okay, because I want to make sure. Okay, give me a second, give me a second, okay? Deme un segundo. Estoy aquí modificando esto porque uh, there was a problem. Ok. ¿Me pueden escuchar? Yes. Yes. Ok, ok, good. Yeah, give me a second. I'm fixing, I'm fixing this right now. I'm fixing it. Ok. Ok, give me a second. Don't go. Um, ok, so think about now what kind of personality traits you have. Piensen ahorita, okay? How do you consider yourself? Mm -hmm. Okay, vamos a presentarlo ahorita. Okay. Aquí, here we go. Okay. Okay, good. What about critical? Is that a positive or negative? Critical. Critical. Is it positive or negative? Depends. Critical. Hmm? That is uh, positive. 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 positive and negative. Positive um, and negative. Yes, it depends, right? Yeah. It depends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Critical, it's positive and negative, depending on the situation. What about the next one? It's, negative. it's a positive or negative adjective? Negative. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, it's negative. What about the next one? 
efficient. Positive. Positive. Good. What about forgetful? Positive. Hmm. Guess forgetful. Guess forgetful. Olvidadizo. Negative. Yeah, in my case, I am a forgetful person. Yeah, I don't want to be a forgetful <laughs> person, but I, I am. Yeah, I am all the time. Yeah, I don't know. Are you a forgetful person? Mm -hmm. I guess it's because of the age. I believe it's because of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. The men uh, sometimes <laughs> well, are... Vamos a, okay, let me ask you to the men. Okay, what, what do you think, men? Are you forgetful? Yes. Are we forgetful? <laughs> The men forgetful. Yes, that's true. You know, my wife, she's like asking me, do you remember? Do you remember? And I'm like, no, <laughs> I don't remember. He's like, what? Yes. Are you a forgetful person? Sorry. I think I am a forgetful person. Yes. Okay. Let me see. Negativo. Sí, es un negativo. Good. Next. What about generous? Positive. 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 Yes, it's positive. positive. What about hard working? Positive. Hard working. Trabajo fuerte. Positive. 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 Well, positive. in this case, no es trabajo fuerte, sino que es trabajador. Okay? Trabajador. Una persona ah, okay. que se esfuerza mucho. Trabajador. Okay, hard working is an adjective and ah. significa eh, trabajador. Hard working. Trabajador. So is that a positive or negative? Positive. Positive. Yes, positive. positive. Good. Okay, next. Sí. Impatient. Negative. Negative? negative. Yes, negative. 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 What about level headed? Mm -hmm. Level headed. Mm -hmm. Positive. What is level headed? Mm -hmm. uh, so level headed. Mm -hmm. Nivel de, de cabeza. Okay. okay, imagine, imagine, just imagine, so that you can have the idea of this adjective. Imagine a, a person has a lot of money, a lot of money, okay, mm -hmm. a lot. Wow. And he or she has a lot of cards, but she's very humble, very humble person. So she's a level headed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Una persona que. Ni se cree mucho, but she has a lot of money and she's a level headed. Mm -hmm. A nivelada, una persona nivelada, tranquila. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So is that positive or negative? Coeficient. Mm -hmm. So um, is that a positive, positive. or negative? Positive. Yes, positive. What about moody? Moody. Moody. Negative. Positive. What is moody, by the way? Can anyone help me what moody is? Mm -hmm. What is moody? Are you a moody person? Mm -hmm. Okay, what is moody? Look at my face. Look at my face. Moody is a person who is like, yes, 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 very happy. And then it's like, Please don't talk to me. I'm very mad. And then, yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. So that is a moody. Are you moody? Negativa. Moody es una persona que un momento está feliz y luego está enojada. Luego está feliz, Cambio luego de... está enojada. <risa> Enojado. Lunática. <risa> Lunática. I don't know. You can describe yourself. Yeah. Uh -huh. La teacher. Who? What? Bipolar. Bipolar. Well, it's kind of, so, for example, you can say, you know what? My boss is moody. Why? Well, one minute, one, ha, very temperamental. Yeah. One, one minute he is happy, and then the next minute he is mad and angry. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. L look, vayan viendo qué adjetivo se va aplicando con ustedes, porque luego les voy a hacer una pregunta. So, de todos los que vamos viendo acá, Van a decir, ah, yo creo que yo soy moody. Oh, yo creo que yo soy disorganized. Yo creo que soy hardworking, ¿ok? Vamos a next. Let's go to the next one. 
punctual. Is that positive or positive. negative? Punctual. Mm -hmm. Positive. Positive. Good. What about reliable? Reliable. Mm -hmm. Reliable. What is the meaning? Oh, reliable is a person that if you tell that person a secret, that person is not going to share your secret. It's a person that you can okay. trust. Mm -hmm. For example, yeah. your best friend is a reliable person. Mm -hmm. You can tell anything to your friend without being without without you worrying about it. Una persona confiable. confiable? Yes. Oh, okay. O algo que es reliable es alguien que es verdadero, algo que es confiable. Mm -hmm. Reliable. Okay. Thank you. What about, okay, so reliable is good or bad? A good adjective or bad adjective? I mean, a positive or negative adjective? Positive. positive. Good, good. Positive. Good. Yes, positive. What about short-tempered? Mm -hmm. Short-tempered? Negative. Negative, negative. okay. Negative. Yes, negative. Okay, right now, uh, I would like you to Repeat along with me. Creative. Repeat, please. Creative. Creative. Uh, critical. 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 Uh, well, in this case, you can say critical or critical. So either way is correct. Okay. Critical. critical. Okay, or critical. critical. Okay. Critical. Next. Disorganized. Critical. Disorganized. Disorganized. Oh. Next, efficient. Mm -hmm. efficient. 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 Okay. Next, forgetful. 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 Next, generous. 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 Efficient. Generous. 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 Hard working. Hard working. Impatient. Impatient. Level headed. Hard working. Level headed. Moody. Moody. Punctual. Punctual. Moody. Punctual. The next one. Reliable. 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 Next, Reliable. short temper. And the last one, strict. Strict. Yeah. Strict. And be careful strict. with that one. Tenga mucho short cuidado temper. con esa palabra. Look, tenga mucho cuidado cuando pronuncian esa palabra. No van a decir strict. Strict. Es con el sonido de, las, de la S. Y la letra S se pronuncia Street, ¿sí? Street. Street. Uh -huh. street. No digo street. 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 street, digo street. Uh -huh. street. Uh -huh. street. Ok. Ok. So, la pro... Recuerden, la letra S se pronuncia street. street. Uh -huh. street. Como cuando ustedes, ¿cómo suena, ¿cómo suena la S? Como cuando alguien ha hecho algo bueno. Le... Ahora es así, con... así. Así se pronuncia la letra S en inglés. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? Ok, good. All right. So, how about you? What personal traits do you have? Ajá. Vamos a ver. Ok, en mi caso, look, voy a escribir una oración y espero que ustedes hagan un igual. Ok, look at my sentence. Look at my sentence aquí. Example, I'm punctual and responsible. I'm punctual and responsible. Mm -hmm. What about you? Tell me. What about you? Tell me. Uh -huh. Quiero que me digan. Uh -huh.
Ajá. Yo. Ok. Um, emphasize. Emphasize. Yeah. Emphasize. ¿Cuál es emphasize? ¿Cómo? ¿Qué quiere decir con emphasize? Um, soy em empática. Oh, empathetic. Tengo empatía. Ah, empathetic. Ok. Empathetic. empathetic. Ok. Ah, thank you. Okay. I'm empathetic. Ok. Empathetic. Ok, aquí tengo unos ejemplos, se los pongo acá por si no están muy seguros, ¿verdad? Um, I'm patient and hardworking. Ok, you can say, for example, I am a hardworking person. Hardworking person, ¿sí? I am a hardworking person. Or you can say, be honest, right? I am a disorganized person, ¿sí? Be honest, ok Quiero que se hagan honesto No le voy a decir a sus jefes, ok I'm not going to tell your bosses, bosses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am a disorganized person Ok, be honest please Tell me What kind of personality traits You have Richard. Yes, yes, Amilcar um, I am a hard working And punctual Ok, I'm a hard working and punctual person Nadie dice que es Muri. A rato escuché que estaban diciendo que era Muri. Nadie dice que es Muri. Mire. Ajá. Ah, ok. Patricia says, I'm a little forgetful. Uh, Roberto says, I'm a reliable person, but for <laughs> forgetful too. Good. Uh, Rosa Luz, I'm forgetful person. Ok. Uh -huh. Soy una persona olvidadiza. Uh -huh. Forgetful. Ok. I'm a generous and punctual. I'm very optimistic. I'm a punctual and reliable person. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you for being honest with you and letting us know. All right. Look, sometimes I know you have a lot of characteristics, right? A lot of personality traits. All right. I know you have a, okay. Dina Contreras says, I'm generous and hardworking. Good. Okay. I don't know what is your job, but look, look at this example when we want to introduce a cause and reason, you know? I would make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. I could be a teacher because I'm very creative, okay? I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very <laughs> I'm very impatient, okay? And I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. Okay, tell me in your case. Miren aquí el ejemplo. I could be A or N, agregan la profesión o el trabajo, because, and then you give a reason. Por ejemplo, in my case, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. I could be, vamos a ver, I could be a, a, what? Because, because I like businesses. Look at my example. I could be a businessman because, I'm sorry, hay algún pro, un problemita ahí de misspelling. Because, see, I could be a businessman because I like businesses. What about you? What about you? Mm -hmm. Can you be a teacher? Okay, let me see. <laughs> Can you be a teacher? Or could you be a teacher? What can you be? Ok, básicamente, look, look, utilizamos acá because porque estamos dando una razón, ok. Por ejemplo, podría ser un buen uh, periodista porque soy bueno escribiendo. Eso dice la primera oración. Podría ser un buen periodista porque soy bueno escribiendo. La otra dice, podría ser un maestro porque, because, because, 
Because I'm very creative. What about you? Aquí, mira la otra como dice. No me gustaría ser un maestro porque soy muy impaciente. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. Okay, I could never be a stockbroker because I can make decisions quickly. All right, por favor, quiero que me digan una oración que podrían ser bueno o que no podrían ser bueno basado en sus qué, en sus características que tienen, personality traits. Okay, look, Patricia says, I could be a secretary because I had good sp spelling, okay? Oh, okay. Spelling. ¿Alguien más? Ajá. ¿Alguien más? ¿Qué um, podrían ser basado en sus características que tienen? ¿Mm? Yo creo que no podría... Ok, para los que son forgetful... <ríe> ¿Quiénes son forgetful? Creo que no podrían ser una secretaria porque se les olvidaría el mensaje. <ríe> right. Uh, Ajá, digan. Pero puedo taquigrafía. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Because you are good at typing. Typing. Mm -hmm. Code. Yes, yes. Este, esto va, va fuera de, de la clase, va, pero como usted se va rapidito, mm -hmm. este quería pedirle un tips, ya que está uh -huh. hablando que somos olvidadizos. ¿Cómo, pudi ¿Cómo puedo aprenderme vocabulario diariamente? Yo escribo cinco palabras cinco veces cada palabra pero aún así no se me quedan what can I do oh you know what the best way to learn vocabulary is learning it in context uh -huh. for example va, por ejemplo mire, si usted no sabía cómo decir eh, cómo se decía or, olvidadizo en inglés let's say no sabía cómo se decía olvidadizo pero ahora ya sabe por qué no asocia esa palabra con con usted por ejemplo ve, yo soy olvidadizo I am forgetful. I am forgetful. Okay, I am forgetful. So next time, you know, oh, olvidadizo. ¿Qué es olvidadizo? Ah, forgetful. Oh, I am forgetful. You can apply vocabulary to you. Okay? Por ejemplo, si hay una palabra nueva que está aprendiendo ahorita, supongamos que no sabía que era muri. Muri. ¿Qué, qué, qué le dije que significaba muri? Temperamental. Correcto, vaya. Que está de mal humor. Ok, piensen, digan, ¿quién en mi familia es Muri? No sé, supongamos que usted diga, ah, mi mamá es Muri. Ah, ok, asocie el vocabulario Muri con su mamá. De esa manera, usted va a ir aprendiendo el vocabulario. Cuando está asociando <risas> una palabra con algo más, puede, puede aprender lo que es vocabulario. Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. I mean, writing, it's good. It's good for your memory. Pero la cosa es que puede estar escribiendo, escribiendo y escribiendo y no saber qué es lo que está escribiendo. Si lo está asociando con algo más. Es cierto. Si lo está asociando con algo más, puede decir, my mom is moody. I am forgetful. Ok. My friend is creative. Ok. Por ejemplo, si su mejor amiga es creativa, es decir, my friend Juliana is creative, está asociando que ella es creative, creative. Mm -hmm. ok, creative, creative. alright, um, listen up, I wish I could continue, but because of the time, um, I'm about to go, uh, ok, but I, but I want you to make sure, cuando utilizamos because, mm -hmm. when we are giving a reason, pueden utilizarla en cualquier área, por ejemplo, you can tell me, I didn't do my homework because, because what? Because I was busy, see? So, utilizamos because to give what? To give a reason, okay? Para dar una razón. Okay, so um, tomorrow we're going to conclude uh, this topic. This topic, I believe, is not very complicated. So, hopefully... Uh, hopefully today you learned some personality traits, vocabulary, and now you know, you know um, what vocabulary uh, it's, uh, you are, I mean, or you are that kind of person, what kind of person you are based on the vocabulary. Yes. Milker? Yes. Mm -hmm. Milker?
Ok. Ok. Um, uh, is there any question? Sí, este. Es que me, este, yo quería. Ok. Dígame, dígame, dígame. Eh, eh, sí, yo quería saber, este. No nos han este, mandado información acerca de la inscripción del nuevo módulo. Eh, que yo estaba viendo de que han mandado como. Sí, pero. Va, miren, no sé, es, eh, revisen correo, el chat, por favor. Para revisen el chat. Y yo estaba viendo de que es para el. Sí, para la fecha límite es para el 25 dice. Vaya, revisen la fecha el chat el límite era el 16 de marzo Vaya, revisen 16 el 16 de marzo era la fecha límite de entregar los documentos para el siguiente curso Vaya, revisen el chat por favor allí veo una persona les escribió en el chat y ahí dice que consulten con sus ¿qué? con sus empresas les dice ¿verdad? que si ya mandó los documentos necesarios entonces revisen el chat Ahí hay una persona que les escribió. And, um, si tienen alguna duda, mañana podemos seguir hablando del tema. So I gotta go because the other group is waiting for me. Hopefully, I'm going to see you tomorrow, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, so have a wonderful night. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.